Well, I guess I'm colorblind now. Where the hell is my sponsorship in Chroma? I can act. Hey there, welcome to a puzzle game called Discolored. You can see the name right there in big bold letters at the top. And there's a little bit of a flashing going on. No, that's not the screen that you're watching this on. That's part of the game, I assure you. Or do I? I don't know. Anyway, um, this is just a demo, as you can see clearly labeled there. Now I figured that a puzzle game would be somewhat more relaxing. This, this seems nice. And the idea is that we are supposed to restore color to a world that has been, well, void of color. And that's the idea. So anyway, we're gonna play it. Okay. So we had sort of like that cinematic movie style opening there for a second. Well, they weren't kidding. This is, uh, this is void of color. Oh yeah, and it's supposed to take place at like a roadside diner. And this is only 20% of the game. Something like that. I don't know. So I'm gonna look around, try and find things in the garbage, like the good little rodent that I am. I found a bucket. I call it my fuck it bucket. You don't want to know what I do with it. Can I sprint at all? Okay, good, I can. This speeds things up a little bit. Can I, can I call somebody? Maybe 911? Ask them, ask them what they did with the color. Okay, so I have an inventory here. I have a, a suitcase. What's inside? Absolutely nothing. Just how I like it. Oh, is this like, is this like an old school, um, viewfinder? Viewmaster? I don't, I don't, I think there's different names depending on like where you're from, but I remember having one as a kid, although it didn't look like that. I'm assuming it's the same thing. Probably not. I don't know. The hell is it? There's a well here. Oh, I'm sorry. I broke it. I don't know what I did. I, I picked up your fishing hook. Can I put that back on? Can I just... Okay, good. I can apply that. Can I put the bucket on there? Bucket? I can. Okay, maybe there's something down the well. Maybe I'll find colors down there. Well, I hit water. wonder if I can drink it. Um... Well, I have, um, a bucket with water now. How fancy. Can I pick up a rock? I kind of need a weapon or something. Maybe to defend myself against whoever. All right, I'm going inside. I would like a cheeseburger, but hold the cheese, please. Because I'm fucking insane. So what do we have in here? There's a cash register. Can I take your money? I mean, well, actually, you probably don't have any money anyway. There's no customers in here. There's no, actually, there's no one even working in here. I'm still going to take your money, though. I'm not sorry. Oh, hello. What are you? Push buttons. I do that best. I got a ticket, question mark. Well, is it or is it not a ticket? I don't know. Okay, so there's an upstairs to this place. This is kind of weird. I've never seen a diner like this with an apartment above it. Maybe it's more common in other places. I'm not sure. Hello. What are you? You look very green today and triangular. Might I say you look very pointy? So can I do something with this or what? I might have to put something inside you. That's what she said? Well, I hope she said it. What do we have in here? A TV. It's currently playing nothing. My favorite. Now, I did read that um, a lot of people were finding this particular game challenging. And some were complaining about it. And others were praising it for that challenge. I think I would be in the uh, the latter group. I, en I enjoy a good uh, a good challenge, especially for my brain. I like these kind of games where I can I can think out loud and solve my problems verbally. You know, you feel me. So I have a hook, a bucket, a suitcase, a viewer, and a ticket. Somehow, out of all of this, I have to MacGyver my way out of the situation. Oh, okay. So I can look at the TV with the viewer. What did that do? Okay, so it just temporarily brought back the color. Oh, okay. So I might be able to actually, if I stand perfectly still, I can use the viewer to look at things? Specific things. So like the bed, the TV. I wonder what else. Okay, the cash register lights up. Okay, so I may be overthinking the viewer thing. It might just be showing me like, maybe the location of where certain things are. I do have a bucket of water and I've been trying to figure out like, where I can put this. I thought, maybe the TV? No, that's that's not it. I And I'm not supposed to wet the bed. Maybe on a, um, a plant? Maybe this plant? Because, oh, that's glowy now. Okay. What do you, what do you give me now? I got a piece of paper or a pic, wait, it's a picture. Cash register picture. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a triangle thing in there and it's supposed to go in that. 
Okay, so I gotta go open the cash register, right? I take it I can't just open you. Maybe I'm supposed to put this in the viewer. Oh, okay. And now if I look at the cash register, it opens. Beautiful. Okay, so I got the, um, the green triangular thingy. Now I can use this to open up the whatchamacallit. And maybe that'll do something. Get in the hole. What'd that do? I can see green now. It's beautiful. Oh, and some music started playing. Oh, that's a nice tune. I, I quite like that. Very, um, very relaxing. I guess you kind of need the, that kind of relaxing music when you're when you're playing one of these games and you start getting frustrated with the with the puzzles. Oh wait, this has numbers on it now. One, two, two, seven, seven, leaf. Whatever that means. So anything that was green now lights up, but all the other colors are still gone. I'm assuming then if that one's green, then maybe another one's blue. And if another one's blue, then another one must be red. So we're dealing with RGB here because that can create all the colors that you want then, right? Okay. So new things are now lit up green, so I can go check some stuff out. Aha! There's a rope here. I knew I saw a shadow of something on this rod before and I wasn't sure. So how am I supposed to... Maybe I can attach a hook to you? Maybe I'm supposed to just reel it up. Wait. It's a second thing here, so... Maybe I need a second handle. Yeah, there's a hole here. So I must need a handle to pull this up. So now where am I going to find a handle? There's a chair missing here too, I noticed. Maybe that was the murder weapon. If there is a murder, maybe the maybe there's a dead body at the bottom of the well. That's what I'm going to go pull out. There's a hatch up here too. Maybe there's like an attic or something. Oh, there's a green rod right there. I must have missed it. I'm not very observant. I was too busy thinking about like... What, what I could do and the things I could go see. So, I have a rod. A uh, rod's not exactly what I need, is it? Pole with an empty hole. Hey, that rhymes. Can I connect the pole with an empty hole to the hook? I can. What can I do with that, though? Can I use it to eviscerate my enemies? And my allies? I mean, this is probably the deadliest weapon I've had in this game so far. I could probably do a whole lot with it. Can I destroy the TV? I can't. Oh, what can I do with you? Oh, can I open the attic with this? I can. Nice. Well, time to go die. I don't know how common this type of situation is where you have like a diner and like an entire house above it. I thought it was more of like a city thing, not a rural thing. What's this thing? They have a chessboard. Oh, is this another puzzle? A puzzle within a puzzle? Am I supposed to pick up the chess pieces? That's not far enough. Oh, I've got to pick up the moon? Oh shit, man, maybe I can eat it. I wonder if it tastes like mozzarella. Neil Armstrong's gonna be pissed. Okay, so I guess I put you back down into the dump truck. Right. Now let go. So do I... Can I just take that? Cool. Okay, what can I... What the hell needs the moon? That's, that's my main question here. So I have a moon, I have some numbers, my viewer... Can I use the viewer... On the locks? Wait, there was something that lit up. Oh, it's blue. I'm really starting to get into this now. Now that I'm solving shit. Like Sherlock Holmes. Oh, there's a handle sitting right here. I've been- <laughs> I roamed around for like five minutes wondering what the hell I missed. It's right in front of my face. Go figure. I, I was- I was so concerned with like what I could do with the moon and everything that I just completely ignored the handle and right beside me. Oops. And I need that to pull this thingy out, right? Because there's a hole right here. Alright, time to pull up the corpse. That is not a corpse. That is a, uh, a sapphire. Well, I'll take it. Well, I assume I did something good because it chimed at me. How do I open you? You're marked with a green prism and you're locked. But I have the green prism in the green prism hole. So why are you locked? Unless... I'm supposed to take out the green prism. There's either something in there, or that's where the blue prism hole is. Okay, so now it's all gray again, which is nice and depressing. And yeah, that's open. Okay. And I was right, there's the blue prism hole in there. Good. Alright, stick that shit in there. Now it's blue. Why is that glowing? I don't like that. I want to go look around a little bit. So, oh wait, 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 wait. If I put the green prism in now too... What's gonna happen? Are we gonna have green and blue? We're gonna have green and blue. 
Okay, now if you know this, there's a missing doorknob here, so, you know, if it doesn't end, and I, I've played a lot of these games before, so I, I know the feeling when, it, when it's coming up, like, this would be a prime time for it to end. We would take this doorknob, and we would put it in the thing downstairs. That's just, that's just what I think. Alright, now, yep, there it is. That's the end of the demo. Just when I was getting into it, too. That, that happens a lot with puzzle games. You know, initially, I'm, initially I'm kind of like, what the fuck is going on? I don't know. And then, then I get into something rhythmic. You know, I start solving things really quickly, and I can, I can piece things together, and I can brainstorm different shit, and I love doing that. And then they just take it away from me. I'm used to, I'm used to puzzle horror games where like something's chasing you, and you gotta solve the puzzle in time. So it's really stressful, and you can't really take in the whole environment. So when you have like just a direct puzzle game, like. You know, this demo brings back some memories of games like Myst or uh, The Witness. Um, maybe maybe even a little touch of Portal, but not so much. It's just because of the first person perspective. Um, Grim Fandango, like using the inventory system, combining items together and, and pointing, clicking them on different things to do different stuff. You know, I, I, I like that. I like games like that. It's a lot more toned down, a lot more laid back. I don't I don't have to be stressed about what's going on and doing it in a certain amount of time. And plus, when the game has really good music like this one, it, it creates a, a nice atmosphere. Well, anyway, thank you for joining me for the demo for Discolored. I hope you got some enjoyment out of the video. And as always, take care, and I hope to see you around sometime soon.